Well, it looks as though we have one more thing added to the problem here. Listen to what this fuel pump sounds like. Yeah. No good. So it doesn't look like we're going to be able to load fuel while we're up in the silo. We'll have to sort that problem out later. Well, we're into the next day. We're going to finish chopping today, but before we go to the chopper, we're going to swap out this fuel pump. If you recall the video the other day when, I guess it was when we were getting ready to do the blower, what was it, blower paddles or whatever on the chopper, this pump when I went to fill the chopper after I come up or when I went to go up into the silo it wasn't wanting to work so we have a brand new electric fuel pump here this is the one that came off we put a 12 volt pump in there ran it with the army truck pumped it over into this thousand gallon tank and used that here for a couple of days while we're waiting for this one here to arrive to us so this is a 35 gallon a minute electric pump that we're going to set up before we run to the field uh, that one there uh, ran real slow because it's having to lift so high up out of the tank and uh, we ran it from that one to that one so that we weren't having to uh sit here so long pumping fuel so um i want to get this set up before we uh leave here today right nathan right. any thoughts for the day not quite, yet. not quite yet all right okay let's get her down here all right so here is what we have here they used the telehandler to lift that big old pump up on there. And we might have to get some parts to redo this job. The straw down inside the tank is a uh, inch. This one requires, well, the receptacle that goes in the bottom of the pump. This guy here. It's set up for inch and a quarter. The conduit I have is the wrong size. And the conduit that's here is, you know, mucho no good. So we're gonna have to redo some electrical stuff here, but that's all right, we need to get pumping fuel. This tank's only got about 300 gallons left in it, and that's not gonna quite even fill the packing tractors. So I got the filter head right here, which is, three quarter inch not really suitable but we're gonna get her and throw in my left hand so make sure you don't fall off the tank good catch do you have you got a pipe right yeah obviously yep i'll need uh that wrench again to take these off ah uh, okay to get in to hook up your electrical so he'll get the filter head on there i'm gonna order a new one of them is that filter Gonna make that. Well, it should be straight up and down, but let's just. Temporary, so yeah. It, get her where yeah. Going. We need to get pump and fuel mainly. So just be careful that you don't break that gauge right off. That's a fill right gauge there, and then we've got the knockoff version right here. <laughs> I don't know what good that gauge is going to do way up there, but it, this pump came with the gauge on it. This was fifteen hundred bucks for this guy. Oh, well, it should pump faster now. Yeah. Hope. Hopefully. So when the shutoff doesn't work on the fuel nozzle, no, instead of pumping twenty gallons of fuel on the ground, yeah, you'd be <laughs> flowing thirty-five. 75% more at least. I know it's too bad you didn't have a longer piece to go in there to have it out further. Well, we'll end up redoing that. We'll, I'll get a one inch filter head and a one inch stem to put in the outlet. And then we've got a good one inch hose here, but we've got three quarter inch 
coming into this our gauge here so all right let's throw them up a filter where is your filter do you have it in the box oh here we go did you already unload it wonder if i could throw it vertical I probably better not, because you know what's going to happen? Somebody's going to get spilt on. <laughs> All right, we'll let them get that on there. And then we spin the hose in. You probably have to back that up a little bit, Jay. Is that going to turn on, or are you going to have to... I'll have to turn it a little more. Actually, you know what you could do is just take the, the switch right off. Take that off, turn it on, it's going to stay on any time. Yeah. What is that hand tight? Can you put it on backwards? Yeah. We are geniuses. And then we might have to zip tie it just so the a bird will land on that. Turn it off. <laughs> hey, the fuel pump don't work no more. What if you uh you know what we can do? Why don't we do this? Uh We'll get power in that. We'll get it turned on, whatever way is on, and just take the switch off. Just so that we don't have to zip tie it or anything. So, I want to make sure when somebody's able to steal fuel that the, the pump works. Okay, so we've got this half put together. It's all put together, but the job's only half done. So turn the power on, Timothy. All right, take that nozzle and put it over in that black tank. Got to jump these pipes here. So we'll put that into there. And we'll go ahead and turn the switch on, Andrew. All right, so it's not on, so you got to hit the flopper. Firing up with the flapper. Is this one? I think the wiring guys need some help. Well, we don't. Well, we don't have time. Several days later. Well, a couple of days have gone past here now, and that pump there does not work. We set that up here the other morning, and. I didn't have much time to screw around with it. I had just barely enough time to get it set up. I figured we'd get it set up, and then if the guys needed fuel after that tank there was empty, they'd be able to pull it out of this one. Once we set it up and it didn't work, I said, well, I'm out of here. I, I don't have my little meter that was in the chopper to see if we actually had power up to the pump. My brother checked it later on. Yep, there's power going up to it. We must have a bad switch. So I bought that pump from Granger. I called up Granger. He didn't want to take the end of the pump off to get into the switch because he wasn't sure if that would screw up the warranty. Well, as you can see, we have a brand new one sitting in the back of the truck. I explained to Granger what was going on. They said, well, that pump is on warranty. We're going to send you a new one. So that's what they did. I said, what about sending a call tag for that one? They said, well, that one's yours. Just throw it away, scrap it, do whatever you can. Uh, we don't want it back. So we have a new one here. Hopefully that one doesn't have a problem. And we're gonna go ahead and take that one there off. The, the straw or the tube on it that's down inside the tank 
is one inch. I do have an, a piece of inch and a quarter pipe that we're going to go ahead and put on there. And then I've got some new conduit as well. One other thing I want to change is that hose. It's a three quarter inch hose coming over into uh, the meter there. I have ordered a one inch hose, but that has not come yet. So we'll go ahead and we'll get that one off and we'll get this one on there. These are $1,700, a 35 gallon a minute electric fill right fuel pump. All right, so now that we have the electrical unhooked along with the um, fuel hose and filter, we can go ahead and get it off of here. chain wrench or a bigger pipe like a oh, cursor right down there. Guy there. Just carry this on down the ladder. So we have that setting on the tailgate. Now we're going to pull this fitting 
up out of here and that's got a one inch tube on it that goes down in the tank and the one that comes with a pump calls for an inch and a quarter we'll go ahead and pop this one out So this is a one inch pipe here and we're going to take that down to the shop and I have an inch and a quarter that we're going to have to cut down the length here. So I'm going to grab that and uh, we'll run down to the shop and cut that. <clears throat> all right so we have our inch and a quarter pipe cut down to size we've got the the pump attaching bushing onto it here that'll go in the tank and then we've got a of course got to have a new pump inside the box and uh we'll hoist that up there and get that set up and then we've got to tear down our conduit that's around our wire going to our switch and uh, get some new condo on there and get the power hooked up. Why'd you want to do that? Oh, that's what size it, it wants. Oh. Uh, no, it, it made a difference or not. Um, as soon as I get this set up, I'm going to go to put the seeds in. Okay, so here we are with a new pump. We'll go ahead and pull it out of the box. And uh, carry it up on there.
top. You need anything? No, I shouldn't. Maybe I should go see what the hell that PTO shaft is. Well, we've got that mongrel up there and it's tight. Now all we've got to do is hook up our hose or our filter head, our hose. Well, actually we'll probably hook the electrical up first. Then we're not working underneath that filter and then we can hook up our hose and whatever after. So we're gonna go ahead and replace this conduit being that it is all rotten and uh, yeah, get these wires covered up here. All right, we've got this all set up and we are going to turn the switch on for the first time. Go ahead. Put it on. I don't think I got the breaker on. Breaker's off. There we go. She's a pumping now. All right, so what we're doing now is we've only got maybe 1,500 gallons or so left in this tank. So we're gonna pump it over into that 1,000 gallon tank so that we can have a tractor trailer load of fuel delivered here before the weekend. So we'll go ahead and let that pump. I'll go ahead and show you what things look like up on here. I'm actually gonna take a zip tie up and zip tie the switch so that if a bird lands on it or something, it doesn't turn it off. So that's off like that, but we're gonna zip tie that to there. And then in the event that something happens to that switch down there, we could still turn it off from up here. So we ran our new wire or our new conduit over the wire here. And we've got that all hooked up into the switch box there. Now that's pumping right along. I don't think it's exactly 35 gallons a minute because we've been, I don't know, a little while here and uh, we haven't hit 35 gallons yet. Um, I am going to switch out this three quarter inch hose. I've got a one inch hose ordered for it. We are inch and a quarter uh, tube on the suction line coming up and then we're all one inch. One inch hose, one inch nozzle. The only uh, restrictor that we have is this three quarter inch hose, which I'm not sure if that's gonna restrict it all that much or not.
Okay, there we go. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna put my tools away and we're gonna jump on the grain drill. And Andrew is gonna run the roller. They've got the roller harrow hooked to the 8120 and they're gonna get that unhooked. And you're gonna get on the roller, the roller, right, Bob? All right. So we don't have time to exactly get into this pump here to see exactly uh, what happened to it, but we will get into that at a later date. We just need to get working on uh, getting these seedings in the ground. So we'll join up with you on that pump there at a later date. I don't know if we're going to be throwing it away or attempting to uh, fix it. So yeah. Well, we are just getting going with the grain drill here, putting in seeds. This is alfalfa that we are planting currently right now. It is August 31st. We had wheat in this field. We've got, there's three of them all right together here. One across the road and one down the road. Sarah's in the field next door and she is actually in the spot of the field that she got stuck in I believe it was two weeks ago today so I had some numbskull deer 8772 or something sounds like a real moron said nothing will ever grow in that spot again the maturity level should have been that of leaving the machine in the machinery barn instead of even being out there getting into the field. Well, <laughs> yeah. So she got stuck right in that corner. We'll be over into that field here in a little while. Maybe we should jog on over there and uh, talk to her about that. But she's got that ground turned up good now. And the reason why she was able to disc through it now is because she got into it when she did, worked it up, and then it, of course, was able to dry out and allow us to work it now. Now I know I'll have that moron tell me that a crop will never grow there well uh, mark my words there'll be a crop growing there uh next june when we go to take this hay off so i don't know if that moron watched a video somewhere else or something like that and seen where a guy uh went through a wet hole or something and nothing ever grew in that spot or Maybe he deals with wetter ground than we deal with, and um, they've got different situations uh, with where they're at. But I can assure you we'll have a crop growing there. So Andrew will be here in a little while. He's got the roller. He's going to roll in ahead of us. He's going to do some um, ground that way, and then once we get far enough ahead of him, with the grain drill, he'll come back around and pack these seedings in after we get them uh, planted. So we'll join up with you in a little while once Andrew gets here. I'm going to close out this video here relatively quickly. But uh, there is an open ditch between us and where Sarah is. And in that corner right there, just on the other side of the open ditch, between us and her is where she got stuck so we're gonna keep on keeping on here and we will join up with you once we get a little further along to where we can actually show you some progress here 
Well, we did get some rain here yesterday. We got some rain showers. I got a stone right there. I'm gonna have to pick up once we get our headland passes made. And I, uh, I could fill up with seed when I'm going back and forth and grab that stone and throw it on out of here. So now Sarah's in that corner again, dressing her up good, real good like. So yeah, <laughs> all right, we'll join up in a while here. Well, we've made one pass around the whole field here. And I had a disc plugged up with mud, dirt, on this right-hand drill. And I noticed we got a tire right there that is a little low on wind. So we're waiting for Jared to bring over the air compressor to blow that up. Andrew is over here with the roller, and he's going to roll ahead of us here. And uh, then once we get far enough ahead of him, will uh yeah so he needs help unfolding here and i got a phone call well andrew's just making his second pass around the field here we're waiting for Jared to get over here with the Ford truck and the large air compressor. Service truck is still down, so uh, we're having to do things that way. But he ought to have, be able to have a fair amount of this field rolled ahead of the grain drill before we end up going in behind the grain drill. So we ended up putting these tires on I put two on last year and then we just put these two here on uh, the other day uh, we didn't run this flat that long maybe just the length of the field doesn't even have any rub marks here and the beat is not broken on the back side so what we'll do is we'll drive that up on a block of wood he's got the cheetah with him and we'll uh, try to get that blown up without taking it off of the uh, implement here so he should be here shortly then we can get that taken care of so we can get back rolling again it looks like Sarah's just about done with that field that she is in she was able to do the whole field. Uh, the one that the one field that's wet is that back one right there. That's a little wet. That might be a little bit of a problem. But we'll just have to see how she rolls here. All right. So this is our air compressor truck now. So we'll get the blocks of wood out and uh, we'll see if we can't get this to come up into the air here. Well, we must have got a sharp stone in there because we've got a good slice in this tire right there. So we're gonna have to take it off and take it back to the farm and well, we've got other tires back there as well, so I'll we'll have to throw another tire on the rim. So, actually, we have a spare. Should have just had you bring the spare, but I don't know. Well, we now have the spare bolted on. We would have uh, just brought the spare over to begin with, but I thought that we were just low on wind. So we did have to uh, 
dig out from underneath the tire a little bit just so that we could get that up on there I'll back off that block of wood and then I can try tightening them by hand well we've got that on there we might as well get back going here now Andrew ended up getting this whole field rolled the amount of time it took us to go back to the shop I should have just had him bring the spare but I thought we were only going to need air so let's get rolling here We'll have to figure out what we hit. It must have been something going up that one side because um, that was quite a sharp object. So we'll keep rolling here, or get back rolling anyways. All right. Getting out every six to eight acres to fill up. It's fill up time. Andrew's catching up to us. He's got that field there rolled, the one next to it rolled, and he is rolling right along there. He's 36 foot, we're 30. And he doesn't have to stop every six to eight acres. To go and fill up with seed. So we'll get all of our boxes open. We will end up uh, using like three bags. And then we'll go again, and after six or eight acres, we'll fill up again. get into our metal hopper which this has got seed in it however that one's empty so we poured one bag into this one we'll pour one into this one there and one into that one there so you guys want to watch Andrew come up through the field there Okay, so we have one more bag of seed to put in the left drill. And that is going to do it for this video. Conditions are absolutely perfect. Um, actually, it's not the end of the video. Let's get over into that field. I'll show you what that wet spot looks like that Sarah got stuck in. And then we'll finish out the video. 
Well, we ended up getting that big field planted, which is just right on the other side of that open ditch. And now we're over into the field that Sarah got stuck in just about two weeks ago today. She got stuck over in this far corner to our left. And as you can see, everything is all worked up. Got it all disked, got it all rolled. Now we're planting it. We are making our first time around. We came across this other open ditch, right about where my pickup is setting, right over there on yonder. We have made our way about five eighths to three quarters of the way around here. And the spot that Sarah got stuck in is nice and dry. Now, for the moron that said that nothing is ever going to grow there, we're going to prove you wrong. We're going to prove you wrong by we're going to not only plant it, but in a couple weeks' time, we could come back on here, show you that there's something growing. And then if that moron wants to stick around come next June, we'll show you that we got a crop in here. So Andrew's on the other side of the road. There's one other piece over there, and then there's one down the road that uh, he can roll ahead of the grain drill. He's got the field that we already planted rolled, and he is rolling things ahead of the grain drill just because we had such a slow start with the uh, flat tire. Now, yeah, we should have just had Jared bring the spare over, but for some silly reason, I thought that the tire just lost a little wind and that we had uh, broke the bead and the tire looked like it was flat the way it was. Uh, I had no envisions of there being a uh, injury in that tire. Now, Sarah got stuck right there, right there. And we have it all worked up. It's rolled. And in another 20 minutes or so, we'll end up running the grain drill right through it as well. Andrew has rolled it ahead of us here. And we're just going to continue on with planting this field. So with that being said, that is going to do it for this video. The girls have moved out of the area with their discs. They're more towards home. They had to go past the farm to go to the fields that they needed to go to, which is south of the farm. We are now north of the farm. Uh, they have since fueled up. Fuel tank works excellently. And yeah, so we'll keep on keeping on here. So with that being said, that is going to do it for this video. I want to thank everybody for watching. And we'll catch you at the next one. America. America.